Hi friends. Any guess where I am this morning? I wanted to be somewhere comfortable that you would feel comfortable, that you would remember. Any guess where I am? Do you see this behind me? Where am I? Yes, I'm in the Sunday school room at Trinity Church. And let me tell you, it seems empty without you. And when it's the right time for families to come back, this room will be waiting for you. And so I'm so excited that we can meet this way online. But I wanted to just bring you into this room for a bit and remind you about how you have such an important place in the church. And not only are you part of worship, but you're also part of Sunday school and just you're missed. So much. This morning we have a special story from the Old Testament. Our Bible story today is again coming from my Spark Story Bible, and we're going back to the Old Testament like we were last week. This morning, our Old Testament story comes from, remember last week I told you how the Bible is like a library, there are a whole bunch of books in it? Well, this book that I'm going to read to you today from within that big library of the Old Testament is from the book of Psalms. And the Psalms were poems and prayers written to God. And sometimes people would cry out to God and say, God, I'm so sad. And sometimes they would say, God, I'm so angry, or I'm so afraid. Or many times they would say, God, I'm so thankful. Thank you for being part of my life. And so this morning, our psalm is a very familiar one that I bet if you asked a parent or an adult or a grandparent, they might even know it off by heart. It's called the Psalm, the 23rd Psalm. And in my story Bible, it's called, The Lord is My Shepherd. David, the shepherd, loved his sheep. He led them to beautiful fields where they ran, played, jumped, and kicked up their heels. They ate the lush green grass and feasted on delicious berries. They drank from cool mountain streams and splashed in refreshing waters. Doesn't that sound nice? David cared for each and every lamb. If one wandered over the hill, David was quick to go and find it. He put the lost lamb on his shoulders and sang sweet songs and hummed soft melodies. Sometimes he played his harp to help the tired lambs fall asleep. During times of danger, David fought against wild animals with only a slingshot and some stones. His sheep were not afraid because David was always with them. See the picture of the sheep enjoying their time in the field? David thought that about what he did as a shepherd. And David thought that God cares for people in many of the same ways that he cared for his sheep. One day, David wrote a song to tell everyone God is like a shepherd. God loves and cares for each and every one of us. This is the song he wrote. God is my shepherd. He gives me all I need. He gives me wonderful places to rest and sleep. He lets me splash and play in cool, clear waters. He helps me do what is right. I am not afraid even in the darkest nights because you are with me, God, and your protection comforts me. When danger comes, you give me strength. My life is filled with your love, and all I want is to be with you my whole life long. Well, David sang this song to his sheep, thankful for all of the ways that God loved and cared for them. Here is a picture of David singing to his sheep. So David, in his song, talked about 
God being with him all of the time. How do you know that God is with you all of the time? Are there ways that you feel God's presence? Hmm, I wonder if that's something we can think about together. One of the things that happens in the Bible a lot is that people talk about God and Jesus being like a shepherd, which means we are like sheep. And that's probably pretty true because if you know something about sheep, sheep can often get into trouble or sometimes they don't make wise choices. And it's really helpful when they have someone to lead them and help point them in the right direction. And I think people are a lot like that, were a lot like that. We need someone to lead us. Sometimes we don't make the best choices. And it's helpful when we have someone who we know and we trust to be our shepherd. And David taught us that God is our shepherd. And you know, one of the lines in that psalm that always has made me wonder is the line where it says, where David says, I have everything I need. Hmm. Do you have everything you need? You know, I think sometimes when we think about having everything we need, we think about everything we want. Having everything we need doesn't mean that you have the latest Xbox or video game, or it doesn't mean that you have the coolest running shoes or your choice of any candy in the store. That would be great. I think sometimes we all wish we could have some of those things, but that's not everything we need. When David says that he has everything he needs, it's not because he lives in a big, beautiful house. It's not because he has lots of toys or, or, or things. What David means is that he knows that everything he needs is God's love. And when he thinks of God being like his shepherd, He knows that he has everything he needs because God is there loving him and guiding him and helping him to go the right way and make wise decisions. Yes, food and safety and play are all important. Knowing God is with you is also important and can help make hard times better when we know that God is with us and that God loves us. And David knew that so much that he wrote this psalm, like a song or a poem that he wrote about God being with him. I wonder if you could write a song or a poem or even a sentence about God, something about God. I know that might feel like it could be difficult, but I wonder if you might try it. Think about something that you know is true about God? What's something you know is true about God? I know. God loves you. That's something that's true about God. So, I wonder, can I write a poem about that? Just right now, let's see. Um, God loves you every day when you sleep or eat, or play. There we go. It's that simple. Could you write something like that? Doesn't have to rhyme. Doesn't have to be long. You don't even have to share it with anyone, although I'd love to see it if you wanted to send it to me. But I think the good thing about writing down our thoughts about God, like David did in Psalm 23, is that it helps us to really think about God and wonder about God, and ask questions, and say what we know. And that's a good thing. doesn't mean we have all the answers. We can't possibly know everything there is to know about God. But it's good to wonder and to think about God. And so maybe you could write a psalm like David did. So that's a psalm. David wrote psalms. P-S-A-L-M. Psalms. David wrote a psalm about God, and that psalm might have been a song, S-O-N-G, like you sing, or a poem. So might you write a song or a poem or a psalm 
P-S-A-L-M, about God. Well, while you're thinking about that, this morning we have a special video about someone who you might be just might just be wondering about. Hello everyone. Look at this. The Trinity Sanctuary has got all the chairs back in it. We're getting ready to welcome more people into worship. It's not the same as it was. We've got more room, lots of space, wanting to keep everyone safe and healthy when they're able to come back to worship. But I thought I would come and see if I could find the mouse because it must be very confusing for that mouse, wondering where we went and wondering why all these chairs are back again when the mouse had gotten used to it being pretty quiet and pretty empty in here. Now, we've seen the mouse lots of times up on that plaque, which is so important as we come closer to Remembrance Day. But where is that mouse? I don't see her on the windows. I don't see her on any of our really comfortable church chairs. Let's see, sometimes she's up by the speaker. Remember the day she was up by the speaker? No, I don't see her there. Let's zoom in. No, no mouse. No mouse by the piano. No mouse up on the pictures. Oh, you know what? If I were a mouse, I'd probably go looking right in all of that yummy looking food. That mouse is probably saying, look how beautiful that is. Where are all the people? But the mouse is not in there. I wonder, oh, oh, look at that. There she is. There she is, right on the communion table there. I bet she's wondering when everyone will come back. Well, little mouse, people are going to come back little bit by little bit. We want to make sure everyone is safe and healthy, but we will be back. And it doesn't matter if we're here or not. We're still all part of Trinity Church. See you soon, little mouse. Bye-bye. Please join me in prayer, and you're invited to repeat after me or to listen. Let's come before God, who so many people refer to as God the Shepherd, and let's say a prayer together. Shepherd God, we thank you. You care for us like a shepherd cares for his sheep. You want us to be safe and healthy. You want us to have joy and to be able to run and play. You are watching us all of the time and loving us. Help us to feel your love. Help us to know we are never alone. Help us to remember how important our children and young people are at Trinity Church. God, today I pray for my Trinity friends. I pray that they are healthy and that they are enjoying school. I pray that they each have friends who make them feel special. I pray that on hard days, they know how much you love them.
and I pray we will see one another when the time is right. Amen. Friends, I know that some of you have gone through some really big changes lately. I know that some of you may be wrestling with school. I know that sometimes it's hard, especially after the pandemic, when everything is so different. I pray for you all the time. And I hope you know that God loves you so very much. And I look forward to seeing you when we can. And tune in next week when we're going to talk about Jonah and a really big fish. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.